Juror in the Greg Kelly case says he's tormented by his own decision to convict the former high school football star of sexually assaulting a four-year-old boy. He says every day he thinks about Kelly, who is now trying to get his conviction overturned because of new evidence. But there is someone else he thinks about as well. KVU defender and Austin American Statesman reporter Tony Plohetsky is the only reporter to talk to the juror since the new evidence emerged. He joins us now with this exclusive. Mike and Quita, that juror says he now believes there are two victims in this case. There's the four-year-old boy who he believes was in fact sexually assaulted. And there is Greg Kelly himself, who he says is serving a 25-year prison sentence for a crime he is convinced Kelly did not do. The juror talked to me at length about his own experiences with the case, but would do so only on the condition that we not use his name or show his face. He still lives in Leander, where Kelly went to high school and has kids who attend the same school where Kelly went. During Kelly's trial in 2014, the juror says he wondered if someone else assaulted the boy. But who? Mm, the, point, the finger was never pointed at anybody else at all. And he says he thinks about the boy and how all of these new developments may be affecting him. You just have to let him grow, stand beside him emotionally, make sure that he understands that nothing he did was his fault. Prosecutors say they now think it is possible Kelly's best friend, Jonathan McCarty, may have done the crime. Kelly's defense lawyers have presented evidence that McCarty confessed to two people after Kelly's conviction. Court documents filed by Kelly's attorneys also say McCarty had pictures of new children on his phone and his computer. Kelly has a hearing in August to try to hit, get his conviction overturned based on this new evidence. Meanwhile, Jonathan McCarty is in jail for probation violation on drug charges. He has not been charged with anything stemming from the case. Now, coming up tonight at 10, I asked the juror what he would say to Greg Kelly if he ever met him. I'll have that on KVU News Nightbeat. Mike and Quita. Thanks, Tony. And Tony has been leading the way covering the Kelly case with breaking developments from the time the DA reopened the case last month. He sat down with Kelly for the first prison interview with him and was there as Kelly was brought back to Williamson County last Tuesday. Stay with KVU to bring you breaking news first and on TV and online.